I've got three things for the BRZ today. The first one is really cool. The second thing is pretty cool. And the last thing is just something that you need in the new BRZ G86. Elena is going to be refereeing this video. She is going to decide how much I'm able to get done today. So right now she's just chilling. First thing we're gonna replace is this. I'm not doing covers. I don't like the idea of doing like overlays, but I do like the idea of direct replacements. So I have some APR fender vent covers. I think that's what they're called. Carbon fiber fender trim covers. Let's do it. There are several clips on the inside of the wheel well here. I think I need to take out the first three for sure. Definitely that one. Okay, so it looks like I need to take out four. I need to turn the wheel real quick. So I've had these APR fender trim covers for, I don't know, like five or six months. I got these before Ellie was born. And instead of making the excuse that, you know, I have to stay home and watch Ellie or whatever, I'm just gonna start sitting her right down next to me and seeing how much she lets me get done. Oh, crap. Wow, did you see all that, all the rocks? This, all of this just fell out of there. I'm gonna tape this off right here. Yeah, I know, babe. Daddy's doing stuff. Grab the front end of the side skirt and gently pull it away from the car. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. I got those two out. There are two clips. You heard two clips. There's not enough. Oh, there's another clip. For moments like this, these little pick tools come in handy. Probably not gonna be able to see it, but it's right up here. Yeah, you're being a good girl, babe. Yeah, you're doing so good, honey. You're doing so good. <gasps> Is that a camera? <laughs> yeah, you're a very good girl. Play with your unicorn. Those are some pretty aggressive pops. Okay, so now I'm gonna work my way down. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. That's what we're looking like so far. These pops are very aggressive. Okay. There, it's out. And all the clips appear to be in good shape. Made in Japan, baby. I love to see that. Now we're looking at the back side of it. There are going to be two screws. One Phillips head right there, and another one right there. Next, I'm gonna use a heat gun to loosen up the double-sided tape that is holding this plastic piece onto the painted part. Bless you. That could be warmer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So now we'll take our panel removal tool. Oh yeah. So the tape goes down here too. There's another strip like right under here. Oh, finally. Okay, that's what we're looking like. Be careful, don't put your painted part back down on this. A bunch of more rocks just fell out. Being careful not to damage anything. Okay, so that's what it looks like, the back of it. There's a lot of double-sided tape to clean up. So I'm gonna grab some Goo Gone and a razor blade and get this off. Are you ready for a nap? You wanna go down for a nap, babies? Yes, you sleepy girl. So now I'm going to add a little bit of Goo Gone. I got most of the tape off. 
with a razor blade. Let's see if I can scrub this off with the goo gone. I might need heat, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not gonna come off like that. So I'll tell you what guys, this has been the most time consuming part so far for me. I am not very good at getting this tape off. If it, if it would all come off like cleanly and in one piece, that would be so satisfying, but it's the complete opposite. So I've been using a, a mixture of little of, of heat and then going back over the razor blade and then wiping some Goo Gone all over. And the Goo Gone seems to loosen it up. Okay, wow, that's... What? What? You're going crazy over there. Are you, are you, oh, sorry, I didn't get you a toy. God, daddy's distracted today, okay? I'm trying something new, be easy on me. In 30 seconds, this is what I was able to do with my fingernail, so you know what? Maybe, maybe I will, I will try to do the best I can. Let's go. My goodness. So this is what I was able to do. I was able to get, I mean, a lot of the tape off, but using my finger and my fingernails, I'm, I'm kind of getting like the, the heebie-jeebies. I don't know how to explain it. it. Just, it gives me like an anxious feeling when I am scraping like that. Ugh, I don't know. I can only do so much. If Vivian was here, maybe I'd have her uh, see if she can get some off her fingernails, but there's a big ball of the stuff I was able to get off. So now I have some isopropyl alcohol. This is uh, the bottle I was using when I ceramic coated the Type R. So I'm gonna spray this on with a clean microfiber towel and get off all of the Goo Gone and then we will be ready to put on the new double-sided tape. Uh, so the good thing about this, and this is what I was wondering, uh, there was very minimal information on this when uh before i do this install so this is definitely gonna be the most detailed install video uh on the internet at the time that i post this what i was curious about was how you line it up i was hoping that there would be some sort of guides or some sort of pegs and there are there are two pegs and there's these two i don't know four-sided shapes that go, one goes in there and one goes in there. Uh, and then that's, that looks like where you put the two Phillips head screws into. So these pegs are really gonna help you get this on perfectly straight, which is what you want. So let's do a test fit. I definitely took a gamble uh, trying to do this installation, but I think this is gonna be good for the community to see. And it's gonna look really cool, okay? Oh, nice. Dude, these are gonna look so good, especially with a carbon fiber hood. It's gonna have an, a really nice contrast. This is it. Hopefully we have a clean install. It's on there. You can see the little uh, screw holes are in there. Those match up. The only questionable thing I'm seeing, the carbon fiber piece doesn't sit flush with it. It kind of like has a curve to it, uh, which is sort of weird. Over here, it's questionable, but hopefully it looks right when it's on the car. Good thing is I'm doing one side at a time. So if I go and put this on and it looks just like it looks trash, then I can, it's, it's reversible. So this is how it came out. I put the screws back in, the two Phillips head screws, and this is very secure. I don't know what that rattle is. I think it's, yeah, it's this right here. Be very careful. I'm gonna put this back in. I don't want to scratch anything.
Whoa. I'm telling you boys, these clips are aggressive. They sound, uh, sound brutal. Okay, anyway, put this back on now, the side skirt. Just like that. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh my God. That is awesome. What do you think, babe? What do you think? Yeah, that is amazing. I love it. Now picture this, guys, picture this. So now we have the carbon fiber fender duct covers. Next, a carbon fiber hood. Imagine that. That's gonna look really, really good. Now I just need to figure out which carbon fiber hood I wanna get. I like the Street Hunter. I like I like the, the Saibon, Saibon, Saibon. At one point in time, I was saying it correctly. I can't remember how the correct pronunciation now. It's, it's quite amazing actually, the little amount of time that this car has been out. It hasn't even been two years yet since this car hit the streets in the US. And there are so many exterior modifications available. I'm noticing that this isn't as flush as I would like it to be with the with the fender. And that was from what I showed you earlier, where it, it was kind of like, it didn't sit flush. Like this carbon fiber piece didn't sit flush with the plastic backing part. Yeah, I mean, if you are, and it's it's on correctly. Like the, the pegs were both lined up and as flush as they could be. So it's not something that I did. I know that for a fact. I was very, very, I took <laughs> this whole thing, this one side, I've probably spent, I don't know, like three hours on, which is, it might be a little bit overkill, but I was being very cautious. So APR, if you're watching, maybe, um, maybe that's a quality control thing you have. I, I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna whip up the other side real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like all together. And then we'll get to item number two and number three. Okay, check this out. So the problem that I had on the other one, where when you laid the carbon fiber piece onto the plastic backing, the OEM plastic backing part, it was not sitting flush. Now, let me show you what I did. You see all those little shavings right there? With my razor blade, I went like this. Very slowly, I took a little bit off at a time and I shaved a little bit of that plastic off. That's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna hurt the car. And if I do end up putting the stock ones back on, that's not gonna cause any issues at all. So um, that is something that you can do if yours aren't sitting flush either. Let me show you how it looks now. That is much better. You see that? I shaved all that off on that corner and now it sits flush. So that when I put the tape on and then I screw it in, this is gonna look better on the driver's side of the car. It's not gonna be today because in 24 hours, we are going to be heading up to Tennessee for the Taylor Dragon uh, this weekend. So it's not gonna be today, but I think at some point it would be worth my time. But I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna shave that off because it's already taped on. I'm not gonna fucking peel that tape off. Maybe there's a way I can take the other side off and then um, shave off some of that without separating it, but that seems extremely risky because what if I cut through the carbon fiber itself? I don't know. Well, I was, uh, I was the guinea pig. The only other video that I saw on YouTube of this installation was I think from like FT speed in their video, they didn't really show anything. Uh, like all of this stuff here, they didn't show any of that. So I learned as I went along and hopefully this helps anyone out in the future if you decide to do this modification. The next thing I have are some HKS floor mats. I bought these from Throttle. I'm out here just like all you guys entering to win all these darn cars that I'm never gonna win. I actually entered to win a lot of car giveaways. I just entered for Adam LZ's RX-7. I enter for uh, Street Speed 717s giveaways a lot. Uh, I've entered for a couple of, of Evan Shanks, uh, one or two Dustin Williams. This is the first one that I've entered for Throttle though. I'll, I also entered for the Eliminate. They're uh, giving away a Supra and a Supercharged BRZ. So what's really cool about Throttle though, this is included in my video and this is for my vehicle. This is a modification. 
So it's a business expense. So I buy something for the car and also get entered to win a car at the same time. So, I mean, why not? These are really cool though. These are legit HKS floor mats made in Japan. So get this. These floor mats are for right-hand drive BRZs. What? I can't be the first person to purchase this from Throttle and run into this issue, right? I can't be the first person. What? Okay, so I, I just put that one in and that one didn't fit. So I'm like, uh, okay, that's that looks a little weird to be a driver's side floor mat, but whatever, I guess it's the driver's side. Nope, I put this one in. This is for right-hand drive BRZs, dude. <sighs> Man. Let's go check the description on Throttle's website and see if it actually tells you if it's for right-hand drive alone or not. This is the listing on their website. It doesn't say anything in the, in the title about left-hand drive or right-hand drive, nor does it say anywhere in the description. All right, well, since the second thing didn't work out, the third thing I have here is a phone mount. This is a 3D printed phone mount. I'll have the link in the description. People in the BRZ community have been all about this thing, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so let me try it out. I'm gonna put my phone right on it. Hey, it works. Wow. Wow, that's really secure. Oh, it's like the mount itself, like it isn't, it isn't it doesn't um, really secure that well. What the hell? It just kind of like sits in place. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, that's kind of like, I mean, I guess it'll do. Yeah, whatever. Man, sometimes it just feels like I, I take one L right after another. Look at that. That looks so cool. Now, I, okay, I think it looks a little bit weird that that is the only th carbon fiber piece on the outside of the car. I think it'll make sense once I have, you know, the carbon fiber lip and the side skirts and the hood. Even if I just had the hood to contrast with the, the, the new APR fender ducts, I think it'll make sense. But it's a start. It's a start, guys, right? I've neglected the beers. I've had this back since January and I've barely done anything to it, so that's on me. But it's time to get down to business. I ordered uh, something very expensive for the BRZ to replace the Thanos chin in the back. Jay's Racing just came out with their own rear diffuser. So I uh, spent almost $2,000 on that for the full carbon. I don't know when that's going to get here. I think they're made to order, but as far as the BRZ goes, this is how she looks right now. Pretty basic. So let me show you how that fits over here. Now look at this fitment. This is this was the trouble corner on the other side. And it looks flush. Uh, this side kind of pops out a little bit. That's awesome, dude. I really like the way that looks. Okay, now let's go to the problem side. And you'll be instantly able to see what I'm talking about. See that corner right there, that's just weird. It's because the way they, they molded this, the inside of it, it's, it has like a curve to it, but the, the plastic backing is a straight edge. And a straight edge going into like a curved female end just, it just doesn't work. And one last thing before I end the video, I did end up calling Throttle. I spoke to this guy named Cody, he was really nice. He checked what they had and he was able to confirm that they did not mention um, it was for a right-hand drive vehicle. So he's going to send me out a return label so I can send him back and they can refund me. Do you think that takes me out of the, uh, out of the drawing for the BRZ that they're you know, giving away? It might, but that pool closed Sunday night. So maybe it, maybe it doesn't void my entries. I don't know. 
either way, I'll let you take one last look at this and then I will see you guys in the next one. This isn't something that I normally would have bought because the, you know, the stock B or Z floor mats are really nice. Like there's no reason for me to swap those out. I guess, I guess to, I guess there is. I mean, to preserve the original parts of the car for whatever that's worth. I may appreciate that I'm doing this, you know, 20, 30 years from now if I do end up keeping the B or Z long term. But anyway, I would have gone ham on something else like, uh, Basically, all the stuff that I really want for the BRZ, I kind of can't afford it right now. Like, I want to get the Adro stock body kit. So, the side skirts, the Adro front lip, and the uh, rear diffuser. The rear diffuser is my favorite. It looks amazing. But I just don't have that kind of money. Well, I kind of do, but I don't want to spend the money right now. And the other obvious thing, which Bryn LeVon just did to his BRZ, is the GDL Turbo Kit, which is just nuts. Lots of other things I'd rather buy for the BRZ, but and this is what we're this is what we're getting. Man, I really wish I was good at stuff, but I'm just not. I'm just not good at a lot of things. Like I wish I was. Like I, I wish I was. I, I, I wish I, like, I wish I could be good at, you know, getting this double-sided tape off, like, little stuff like that. I'm just not good at things. I don't know. I just, I don't know. <sighs> there are certain people that are good with this sort of hands-on stuff, and there are certain people that just aren't, and I'm one of those people that's just not good at this hands-on sort of stuff. What? What are you crying about? Cause you got boogies? You don't want me to get, you don't want me to get them out? Yeah. 